Hey guys, this is my science fair project about Dr. Weinberger and him helping me cure myself of habit cough. And all the information with all the places in the world and where- You go over it, start up here. What's in this corner up here, baby? What's hanging? Up here is the Daily Beast interview I did. Fun, what's behind it? And here is, it's the thing from 1694. It's in big on the top, too. Yeah, well, it's on there. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that. And then what, we did, what did it say in 1694? Habitual cough. Continue to read it. Oh, okay. Habitual, habitual cough, which often continues after the first cough, which was caused by the cold is gone, from which to last cause the spirit of diseases. From 1694. Okay, what's next? A uh, chest. What is chest? Is that one of the peer-reviewed journals? Yes. It's a peer-reviewed journal. And they, chest. what does it say? That's, oh, that's when they wrote about you. Fun. So what's this? Um, and I'm going to help you with the doctor's name there behind that. That was from Annals. Annals, and it has our website, and it has. Then the top part's about you, right? Yeah, it's about me. All right, who's that guy with the with the? It's called a bowler hat. Yeah, a I know. Emil, Emil Couillet. Couillet. Emil Couillet. What does he say that we say all the time? Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. All right. What's what down? What's down at the bottom? And the suggestion therapy. Oh right. How to suggest good? Suge I can't say that. My own got right. My video, so this is Abby from Australia. What happened with her? Why is she that so important? She had it for five years. And she 14 got hours a day? Six years. Five, I think, right. How, how long did it take for her to be cured? Five minutes. Five minutes. So what, under what's, here we oh, have, oh, right. that's, that's me. That's you. That's my granddaddy. Now, what does it say, hopeless, help me that? Is hopeless, that, hopeless, and forsaken children and adults everywhere. Is that pretty accurate? Mm -hmm. Takes a lot to be forsaken. Have... Oh, hold on, the, the title, we forgot that. Question. So, this is a question. Do you have a question? Can a mystery rare, can a mystery rare vicious global disease be instantly cured? By proxy, under the YouTube channel. By proxy, by watching the YouTube videos. So, we have the YouTube logo and then the Skype logo. And so, Dr. Weinberger cured you with the Skype. Too, oh. And that's my question. Oh, right. How many times do we if hear it's like little... famous, imagine if I'm like in school, it's like write a famous quote. Uh, uh, why is that famous, Bethany? Seriously. It says, because if I can do it, that's what you can do it too. Always says, All the children who get cured, they they say that, right? Okay. They said if Bethany could do it. So why is, is, why do you have Wizard of Oz in there? Because they, uh, what does it say underneath Dorothy there? always had the power to go home and, ever, and the... Kids and people always had the power to cure their habit cough. They just didn't know it, right? They just had to learn it. So what about underneath there? What are those? Time period, and this is a walking clinic. That's when I. Is it really efficient? Tell walking us clinic, least efficient, moderately efficient, most efficient. What's moderate? What's the middle one? That's by watching a YouTube video, and that's by the Skype call. Skype. Skype. Okay, what's underneath that? What's it pull? It's pull. Pull up. Yeah, I know. Hunter said that too. What does that show? I said, what instant cure? You can take, I feel like you're going to it. And this is the data table. That's also the procedure. What does it show? All the different... Um, oh, that kind of references to this, to that map, right? Yeah. Sorry, to, show that again. It's kind of neat. It has all the places. Is that in Nepal? No, that's India. India. Where's Nepal? Nepal was not on that one because we made okay. it before. That. What's underneath me. it? That's me. And look, it says London, UK, Australia. Canada. London. What's underneath it? More, India, India Maj Spain, mm. Malaga. Okay. What's that down there? There's Nepal. Mm. Look yeah, down there's there. Nepal. Oh, I can. Oh, what a good. No. Tell about Nepal. You have to zoom in. Okay. What does that say? Uh, twenty-five-year-old man, five-year non-stop cough was cured by watching a video, and he lives seven thousand six hundred and six miles away from us. I'm gonna read what it so. says. He writes, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He writes, I don't know what magic is in that video which forced me to stop my cough. At first, it was very difficult to hold my cough, but I can't remember that how can I hold my cough. 
maybe due to the motivation that I got from the little girl, Bethany. Thank I you wish, once again. I wish like we could, if we ever got like a lot of money, then we could just fly all them out. Wouldn't that be great? Meet everybody. Just well, everybody in this big room. Oh, and, and well, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. But and then over here was the same ah, up there. Up here, oh, 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 right here. I'm sorry. Okay. The view count. Here's our graph. That is the YouTube video views. So that's the therapy session. So what's underneath there? Um, that's the full version of the therapy. That is. We got four hundred, four thousand, four hundred. Is it up there too? Four hundred. What's underneath there? Next page. So a lot of people are finding out about this. I feel like we should write pull up because kids are going to be like, why isn't it working? Well, they'll figure it out. They'll pull it up. And that's how, that's the visitors to the website, right? Users. Well, one of the neat sessions. things is... <gasps> There's been 4,600 sessions. I know. So one of the neat things is, so I just fun. found out from Dr. Weinberger that there uh, are... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. God, what's that? This is how many... This is two days worth of coughs. Speak it up again. Two days worth of coughs. So you cough 5,000 times a day. And so that's the amount you would cough in two days. And What's this on the this right hand is side? Like this big square squished down to tiny little square. Okay. All of those days. And what does that add up to? Uh, 500,000. That's how many coughs you had. Total. How long, did, oh, how long did it take for them to stop? 10 minutes. So hold on. Did we get everything? Oh, let's go up to diagnosis and treatment. This is one of my okay. favorites. That's me. So what's the most important part? And I was part? in mommy and daddy's room and we had a camper and I would have my water there. And Dr. Weinberger was right there and I was sitting in the chair. And it says the rep The repetitive? The repetitive barking cough that is present. That's once not is present. Is not present. Once the child is asleep is the diagnostic criteria. criteria. So what that means? Criteria. This means oh. to me... This is what Daddy wrote. Okay. If Bethany does not awaken and cough during the night sleep, this is the diagnostic criteria, criteria. of whether or not Bethany had a chronic cough. Have a cough. And she did. In case Bethany slept through the night and began 14 hours of coughing 15 seconds after she awoke in the morning. This is a key bit of information that Dr. Weinberger That's wanted us to know with all other information provided to him. Bethany not awaken at night from a sleeping sleep cough was the diagnostic criteria for having a cough in our daughter. Well, so we, we don't give any medical advice. We just tell our story, right? And hopefully other people will have the same. So who's this? That's just some little girl, right? She she looks too sweet to even have ever coughed, right? That's Polly. And she had it. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting your face. She had it for five years. Over five, five years. years. Her mom said it was more like six. Well, it was almost six. So what do you, you why are you on there? Are you the doctor? No, I was calling her. What are you going to call her and tell her? Uh, call to stop her... Keep, like control her cough and stop like, it. Were we like a motivational counselor? To keep from coughing. Yeah. It's like a peer, I think it calls called peer counseling. She That's can fantastic. do it too. What's underneath that one? I, I literally can't remember. That's fine. This? Out. I don't think. Oh. <laughs> right. Another mystery cough. Mm -hmm. So look, and we put Dr. Weinberger's face up there, and he likes it. He thought it was really funny. Oh, hold on. One last part. We have about one minute left on this. We're not gonna play it all, but what happens if you press this? My cough and Patrick's cough. So Bethy and recorded. And then that's me. Uh, when I do that, it's just me talking about how we can go to the web. And we were talking to, our, hold on, we were talking to our, we were talking, hold on a second here. We were talking to Maxim, who lives in Chicago. And what did he say? He said, oh, Bethany, I saw your voiceover. Remember that last night? Mm -hmm. <laughs> To what he's, who's, who's Maxim and why are we talking to uh, him? Maxim is a little boy, big boy, sorry, that had, how long did he have his cough for? He's had it, all we know is for months and months. Months and months. And he, speak, he's, he he's speaks Russian. Russian. Russian and English. English. And he's very good. <laughs> plays it, well, he plays the piano really he good. Plays the piano. So he, really so Maxim saw that that he's video. We have that uh, as a separate video. All diagnosis video. Oh. and treatment is peer reviewed and published. What does that mean? That uh, other people have reviewed it. Who like, uh, like a, a mechanic? Another doctor. Doctor. So what does peer? What does it mean that it was published in a major journal? Big stuff. Just an annals. Great. All right, we have to go.